the topic is how do you create a table and insert data in sql hello everyone this is anil k sharma welcome to my channel oracle tech india in this video lecture we would learn how to create a table in sql and then we would also learn how to insert data in the table so before i start this video lecture please subscribe my channel let's start the topic with the creation of a table so first of all go to the sql command prompt let's suppose this is the sql command prompt right here create table and then give the name of this table so let's suppose the name of the table is a student now give now add some columns to this student table so write curly bracket and then the column name is student id number 10 note null so here this number is used for numerical value and size and 10 is the size of this number so number 10 here indicates that this student id column will store data maximum 10 digits in length and note null here means that this student id column will not contain null value so it is mandatory to supply the value to this student id column so this is all about the first column now give the name of second column second column is a student name and this student name column will contain data of character type so here uh, write for character value where care where care 2 and give size size 50 and then note null So this varchar 2 50 here indicates that a student name column will store data maximum 50 characters in length and note null here a student a student name column will not contain null value you have to supply the name to this student name column it is mandatory so this is all about the second column now for third column the name of the third column is branch branch here means what streams do you have 
लाइक साइंस स्ट्रीम कॉमर्स स्ट्रीम और आर्ट्स स्ट्रीम सो ब्रांच ब्रांच इज ऑल्सो ऑफ कैरेक्टर टाइप ऑफ कॉलम सो राइट हियर वेर कैर टू and then give size so this where cat 2 indicates that branch column will store data maximum 50 characters in length now the next column is total marks total marks will contain total marks column will contain numerical value so for numerical value right here number and then give size like i give here size 20 now close the bracket and then and then give terminator sign and then press enter as soon as you press enter your table with the name student will be created so this is how we can create a table now let's have a look how to insert data in the table so again go to the sql command prompt so let's suppose this is sql command prompt now right here insert into insert into and then give the name of the table to which you want to insert the values in the form of columns so the table is a student table and then give all the columns all the columns to uh, give all the columns of this student table so like just i have created a table student table and the columns like student id student name branch and total marks all the columns that i have added to this student table so right here all the column names to which you want to pass the values A student id then A student name branch and then total marks now close the bracket now right here values and then bracket now let's suppose i want to supply the value 201 to this student id column and student id column is numerical value column so i will write here 201 now for student name column i will supply a name of the student like anil is the name of the student but anil is the character value 
so so whenever you give the value of character you have to put this character value in single quotation so like i want to give the student name anil so i will put it into single quotation so comma and then single quotation anil single quotation close and then comma branch branch like uh, which branch do you have like commerce science or arts so here i want to pass commerce to this branch column so commerce is again a character value so put commerce value commerce in single quotation so right here commerce and then comma now give the the value to this total marks so like uh, so i give here 300 the student anil has got total marks 300 and 300 is numerical value so you don't need to put it in single quotation so numerical value right here 300 and then close the bracket and then press enter as soon as you press enter this 201 value will go to the column student id this anil value will go to the student name column commerce value will go to the branch column and 300 marks will go to the total marks so this is the first way how you can insert data into a student table now let's have a look on the second way how you can insert data into a student so right here you can write here or or means you can do like this or then go again to the sql command prompt and write here insert into and give the name of the table so the name of the table is a student in the second method you don't need to give any column names here in bracket you just leave it and directly you give the value so values and then bracket so let's suppose 201 i give this value to a student id column again and uh, name of the student is rajesh single quotation close comma branch is science Comma and total marks is 400 and then semicolon press enter you can also insert values like this here you don't need to give here you don't need to give any column name okay so you can insert value like this So this is the second method now you can also insert value by using third method 
so write here or and then again go to the sql command prompt and write here insert into and then give the name of the table so the name of the table is student and then write here values and in bracket write m percent this is the m percent and then student id so this m percent here means that when you press enter after completing this query it will ask it will ask you for enter the value to this student id column m percent student student name comma m percent branch comma m percent total underscore marks and semicolon press enter as soon as you press enter first student id will appear here and it will ask you it will ask you to enter the value to student id column as soon as you give as soon as you give the value to this student id and press enter then second time student name column will appear here and it will ask you to enter the value and then branch column appear here and it will also all it will also ask you for enter uh, it will also uh, ask you to enter the value to this branch column and fourth time total marks will appear here and then you have to give the value to this total marks column and then press enter so your one record will be inserted to the student table so this is the third method how you can insert value to this student uh, student table now if you want to see all the values that you have inserted to this student table for this you have a query like first you go to the sql command uh, sql command prompt so let's suppose this is the sql command prompt and here write select select asterisk and then from and then give the table name so here we have table name is student so write here is student semicolon <coughs> press enter so here when you press enter all the values that you have inserted to the columns like student id column student name column branch column total marks column of this student table will appear here on your screen so this is all about how you can create a table and insert data in sql now let's go to the sql command prompt and do all the practicals this is the sql command prompt and connect oracle database through hr user so write c o n n h r forward slash h r first h r 
is the name of the user and second HR is the password of this HR user and then press enter. Now I am connected to Oracle database through HR user. Now let's check, let's check how many tables exist in HR user. So for that right select table underscore name from user underscore tables semicolon press enter in HR user in this HR user we have tables like customer countries job history reasons departments employees locations jobs but we don't have table with the name student so now now create a table with the name student but first of all i clear this screen c l e a r clear s c r enter now for creating a table write syntax like create table and give the table name and the table name is student bracket then a student id number 10 not null comma a student name bracket to 50 not null comma branch bracket to 50 comma then total underscore marks number 20 bracket close semicolon press enter now a table with the name student is created let's check it select table underscore name from user underscore tables here below customer table we have a table name a student so this is the student table and here we have seen how a table is created and you can also check the structure of this student table by using describe command so right here d e s c r i b e describe a student and press enter here a student id a student name branch and total marks all these are the columns that we have added to this student table so this is how a table is created now insert the data to this table so first of all clear the screen c l e a r clear s c r enter now for inserting the data to the table write insert into and then give the table name insert into and the table name is a student a student insert into student and then give all the column names like a student id student name branch 
टोटल अंडर स्कोर मार्क्स एंटर वैल्यू वैल्यूज ब्रैकेट एंड देन गिव द वैल्यू टू जीरो वन टू टू जीरो वन टू द कॉलम स्टूडेंट आई डी एंड देन स्टूडेंट नेम इज अनिल ए एन आई एल एंड ब्रांच इज कॉमर्स सी ओ एम एम ई आर सी ई एंड टोटल मार्क्स इज थ्री हंड्रेड सेमी कॉलन प्रेस एंटर नाउ योर वैल्यू नाउ योर वैल्यूज टू जीरो वन अनिल कॉमर्स एंड थ्री हंड्रेड आर एलोकेटेड टू स्टूडेंट आई डी कॉलम स्टूडेंट नेम कॉलम ब्रांच कॉलम एंड टोटल marks column so this is the first method how you how you can insert the data to the table now insert the value by using second method so right here insert into a student and then you don't need to give here the column names in the second method you don't need to mention here in bracket all the column names you just leave it so insert into student and then press enter and then values in bracket give the values so i give here 201 again to the column student id comma student name rajesh comma branch science comma and total marks is 400 semicolon press enter now your values like 201 rajesh science 400 are all allocated to student id student name branch and total marks so this is the second method how you can insert the value to the table student now insert the value by using third method and in the third method we will use ampersand so every time it will ask you to enter the value to the columns so right here insert into insert into student and then values bracket ampersand student id comma ampersand student name comma ampersand branch comma ampersand total underscore marks semicolon press enter now when you use m percent in values it every time ask you to enter the value so it is asking you to enter the value for a student id and a student id is a numerical value so here you don't need to mention the value for student id in single quotation so right here write here student id like 201 and press enter now 201 value went to the student id column now it is asking you to enter the value 
for the column a student name and a student name column will store character value and when you pass character value the value is put in single quotation so like i give the student name like ram so i will pass this ram in single quotation so right here r a m single quotation close press enter now ram ram went to the student name column now it is asking you to enter the value for branch and branch branch is the character type of branch will accept character type of value so pass the value in single quotation so science uh, branch in single quotation uh, right here arts and press enter so the value arts went to the branch column now it is asking you it is asking you to enter the value for total marks and total marks is the integer value so you don't need to mention here in single quotation so give total marks like i gave here 500 and press enter now all the values are allocated to each student id column student name branch and total marks so this is the third method how you can insert the value to the table by using m percent now let's check the values that you have inserted to the table so for checking all the values right here select a strip from a student enter so so set here line size set line size 200 press enter and then select asterisk from a student now it is more clear to you by using set line size 200 the output is shown clearly to you in a proper in a proper manner so now it is visible to us in a proper manner like student id 201 201 201 student name anil rajesh ram total marks 300 400 500 branch commerce science arts so by using select a stick from a student you can use all your data or values that you have inserted to the table so this is how you can insert the values to the table now i clear this screen so thank you guys thanks for watching my videos please don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you